Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with this video, we are going to talk about a very simple one that is nth element selector in the playwright. What does it mean? For example, let's see there are four buttons are available on the page. So let's see this is button number one, this is button number two, button number three and button number four. So now you can just simple write to one CSS selector in this form. You simply say, okay, fine, this is, I'm looking for a button. And then you simply write nth is equal to zero, that's it. This will become a locator. So where exactly nth equal to zero means in this position, this button will be clicked. The first button will be clicked. Same thing if you are writing nth is equal to minus one, it means click on the last one. So this is the minus one, right? So if you write this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three. For if you write nth equal to three, it will click on it. If you write nth equal to minus one, it will click on the last one. So this nth equal to uh, zero means the first one and this is the last one. You can pass any specific index over here. There are various examples we can do that. For example, let's see this is the page on bigbasket.com. On bigbasket.com, let's say I'm going to the footer of the page. On this footer of the page, I really want to click on about us. That is, uh, let's see these are the footers are available. And I want to click on about us and the vendor connect. And I really want to know that what is the text of the first and the last footer links. So in that case, you can just quickly use that. You can, I mean, you won't be using this particular concept every time, but sometimes if you have a multiple elements are available and then you don't have any ID or class or something like this, and you really want to go with the uh, nth of uh, selector, in that case, you can just simply use that. This is just like nth of type in, in uh, in CSS selector. So Playwright supports that. So see, first of all, I'll show you uh, from the terminal. Let me just open this application, uh, bigbasket.com. So I'll just copy this URL and uh, I'll quickly open that. So I'm just launching the CLI runner and then so that we can inspect the Playwright selectors over here. So let me just open in a new tab. And here you will see this is the bigbasket.com that I have opened and uh, i'll do one thing right click on it go to inspect and uh, dock your chrome dev tools at the bottom go to the console and uh, what you have to do go to the bottom of the page that is the footer of the page you can see that right let me just footer of the page here now see this carefully what exactly i'm gonna do that i simply inspect this guy once again that is about us and about us is actually available under this ul and uh, under this a uh, div and then there is another div so this entire footer is actually available under this div where class equal to footer links and container is there so i can use this particular footer links class and then i go to the console and here let's see i'll write this is the playwright dot a uh, dollar and uh, there is one div dot class name with class name we have to use a dot and then collect all the ul or collect all the li's see i can directly collect all the li's and under this li the link is available a so what i can do is that i can just collect all the li's so from this div collect all the uh, li's and then under this li number of links are available so here you can see that yeah if you write double dollar here so see this if you write double dollar there are 16 links are available you can see that right see this is the first one second one and up to 16 links perfect but i'm looking for on the basis of indexing so what exactly i'm going to do that a and then you write this one and then you write nth is equal to zero see nth equal to zero it will give you the first one you can see that uh, it's giving you the first one that is pointing to about us you will get the exact thing i don't need to get the collection simple one single element give it it will give it to you see which you are using with the single dollar so here you can see it's pointing to the about us this is so nice. Same thing, if I write with the nth equal to minus one, this is giving you the vendor connect. That is the last one, see vendor connect. So let's see, nth equal to minus one. Here you can see vendor connect. So you can pass any index. For example, if I'm passing the index number five, index number five is giving you terms and conditions. Here you can see terms and conditions. So like this, you can use it in the drop down also. You can use it uh, with the footer links also, number of links also, you can do that. Uh, various options, various use cases, you can use this particular concept, right? So what exactly I'm going to do that I'm just going to use this particular CSS and uh, copy this, come over here, and then I'm going to simple, so right, this is page dot uh, locator, this one, 
zero the element from the footer you have to click on it and then let's see a dot uh, text content not page text okay the string let's say this is my first element is equal to this and from the first element okay i'll just print it on the console so i'll write this is my uh, first element if you want to click on it you can click on it as well so i'll do one thing first i'll do one thing let me just cut it from here store it in some locator because space dot locator will give you the locator so let's see this is my first underscore element is equal to this and from the first element you just capture the text import the locator from microsoft playwright qa perfect first element dot text content first element and then print it on the console same thing i'll do one thing i'm just going to use the last element as well so i'll say this is the uh, last underscore ele and this is last element text whatever the last element means nth is equal to minus one this time i'm going to take it and the last element uh, i'm going to print it on the console as well right so let's see it's capturing the text or not okay same last element i'm using it over here so right now i'm not clicking on it i'm just capturing the text so let's see it is actually working or not this is something really amazing feature very straightforward very simple scenario and uh, very simple uh, syntax also so let's see on the console it's actually printing the text once the page is fully loaded and here you can see yep yeah, about us and the vendor con connect both are available not contact vendor connect actually so same thing you can check it over here as well that vendor connect and the about us perfect now i really want to click on it so how will you click once you printed whatever the locator that you have captured and then you just do a dot click so let's say i'm going to click on it for second element i don't want to do anything just comment it out and uh, simple run as java application let's see this is working or not so bigbasket.com and uh, it should click on the about us perfect you can see the url this is about us about big basket and change the url also here perfect this is so nice clicking on it printing the text of it and absolutely working fine so you can just simply use this nth of element concept or nth element selector concept in playwright straightforward simple video very short video that's all for this particular video please please subscribe to the channel share the series with others who are looking for playwright with java it will help you a lot guys in future just start learning playwright thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all